I'm done. It's as simple as that. I'm done. I officially hate this company. Some people laugh at me. Like, I know my friend Chase was laughing at me on Twitter, but I really, for a long time, have been waiting for the star that I can invest my time in. Ever since I was young, there's been many opportunities for stars to rise, but none of them really were for me. I was a big fan of Cena when he was rising to the main event scene, but once his gimmick took off, I just wasn't into it. I was really into Jeff Hardy. They waited so long to pull a trigger on him, though. I was really ready for him to win at Royal Rumble. And then when he won the Money in the Bank qualifying match, I'm like, great, he's going to win the Money in the Bank, and I'm going to be at that WrestleMania. And he screwed that up. I was really ready for him to win it in No Mercy. He, they screwed that up. I was really, really, really ready for him to win it at Survivor Series, and they screwed that up. And then he won an arm again, and I was like, okay, that's good, but it took too long. Alberto Del Rio took too long. Rey Mysterio, I was really into, but they treated they they treated his reign like such a joke. They killed my interest in him quickly. I've been waiting, waiting for seeing one of these companies to finally do something fucking right. It's not hard. Do it. That's why I get so angry. That's why I got furious. I was furious when Sheamus won the title. His first time, because I was like, God damn it, you fucked it up. I'm sick and tired of these companies fucking it up. This was perfect. I mean, Joe, Joe, the build to lockdown was almost perfect. But like, just like with the other guys, they waited too long. They killed my interest. This was perfect. They did not wait too long. He peaked. The build was excellent. The video packages were excellent. Kurt Angle, a guy who recently in an interview expressed great anger. Well, not anger, but... Sadness, really, and that TNA hasn't really built a lot of new stars, saying he was upset when he beat Joe in his first match in the company, saying he was upset how he made AJ look like a joke, all this talk, and granted, I'm not blaming Kurt Angle for this, but he fucked it up. I, I, can't, I, sh I shouldn't be surprised. A bunch of people on Twitter are laughing at me. I didn't order Destination X because I wasn't looking forward to that show as much as everyone else was. Everyone was marking out over it being a one-night ROH-style show that will never affect... TNA forever. It'll just be one night to enjoy TNA. But my problem with that was, A, I wouldn't be able to enjoy it fully. And B, I didn't think the wrestling was that stellar. I mean, AJ and Daniels, we'll get to that on this show. I a lot of people were really upset with that match on this show. I really thought the match was good. I didn't really I didn't really care because I've come to not really expect much out of AJ Daniels anymore. They've just wrestled so much. There's really nothing more they can do to get me. It's like, you know what, I've seen this match so many times. I really could care less by now. And the side quit match, I'm like, okay, I'm not expecting anything. Just go out there and show me something. And they showed me a, a decent to good match, I thought. And But this, I was so looking forward to this main event. This show was going so fine. You know, you had two good matches, really good matches to open up the show. A, a, probably the best Mr. Anderson match I have seen in a long time. A decent triple threat, which was million times better than had any right to be. A decent women's match, which, yes, was a little long, but I was never bored, so the length didn't affect me. The, the crowd didn't give a shit, but it never impeded my enjoyment of the match. We had a good I Quit match, I thought, because I Quit matches nowadays really aren't... I mean, they used to be great, but nowadays they really aren't that special. Um, we had a... The Hogan Sting stuff, everyone was furious at on Twitter. I really didn't give a shit. I expected it going in. Did I expect the Hogan face turn? Not really, but when they did it, I was like, who cares? I gave that match an NA. It wasn't a positive or negative, in my opinion. It was short, really. I mean, it was really short in the main event, which I thought was going along really well. I mean, I know some people were saying, yeah, that match was just okay. The match was just good. No, I thought it was really, I thought it was the best match on the show. But that finish, when I saw that ref count three, I was like, no. I was like, oh no, they're going to restart it, aren't they? And then Angle starts to leave the ring, and I'm like, no, no. I haven't watched Impact in a year and a half. A year and a half. And I said, I made a video going into the show saying, TNA, there's many different outcomes. I could be more interested in the product, the same, less interested, or fucking hit your guts. And I said in the video, if Kurt Angle pins Robert Roode clean, I will fucking hit your guts. And... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people think, oh, they're building Root up for the rematch. Who gives a shit? This was the stage to do it. 
This was the time. It was perfect. The crowd was into him. And what's worse is two things I didn't like. One, that Rude did his finisher a million times and he still didn't win. Because it's like even his absolute best didn't work. The second, Angle was injured going into this match. And they made mention of that a lot. So it was like the very crippled but valiant Kurt Angle who's been hurt and hurt and still fighting could beat the fiery young challenger who failed when the big stage came. I hate you, TNA. <laughs> I hate you. I will not watch this product at all until I'm talking super fucking major overhaul. Like super, super overhaul. Like, almost a completely new people in charge. Maybe even, I don't even think Dave Lagana. Maybe just Paul Heyman. Russo gone, Hogan gone, Bischoff gone, Dixie gone. Like, just have Paul Heyman in there. Maybe. Maybe a 10% chance I'll pay attention to your product. They killed me. So, you know what? I'm not going back to indifference. I'm going to wishing for you guys to die. I'm at that LV5454, uh, the dirty white boy level. I want you guys to die. You're that bad. Will I still read the Impact spoilers every week? Probably. Not gonna lie. I really enjoy the Brian and Vinny show. Especially when they rip on Impact. It's a lot of fun. It's really fun. I love that show. And why am I gonna deprive myself of one of my favorite shows because of a product I fucking hate? I'm not gonna do that. I'm still gonna read the Impact spoilers because I still, that's just the way I am. I like to keep up to date. I'll still read the CMLL paragraphs every year. Every week in the newsletter, I'll still read the AAA stuff. I'll still read the the Bellator stuff. I will still, when the, when Wrestling Observer, um, on their website, which I go to all the time, post teenage spoilers. I'll probably click them, read through them, move on. I'm done. I'm just done. As far as the show, Irish Kendrick was really good. A lot of fun. RVD Jerry Lynn was really good. Bachi, but who gives a shit? And a lot of fun. Um, the triple threat I thought was alright. Bully Anderson, <laughs> Bully Ray, Mr. Anderson, I thought it was a good false cut anymore match. I had a botchy finish, but they called an audible, and they made up for it, in my opinion. Women's match, like I said, it was really long, but I was never bored with it. I thought it was alright. Daniels AJ, I thought it was just a good match. RVD Lynn, in my opinion, was the second best match on the show again, by the way. Sting Hogan, NA. I don't mean that in the negative, I don't mean that in the positive. It is what it is. Angle Rube, three and a half. Pretty good match, but I'm done. Don't expect me. Oh, and don't even fucking expect me to order a goddamn pay-per-view again. That's almost never happening again, ever. I cannot do it. Like my friend Brian was telling me, you can only fuck over the fans so many times. Now, the interview with Brian may not be up tonight. It all depends. It's getting, because it's getting really late. I'm not sure. Um... So we'll see. It could probably be up tomorrow. And I know you guys are going to fucking hate me for that, but it is what it is. All right. Uh, so yeah, fuck TNA. I'm still going to read the Impact spoilers probably. I'm never going to order another fucking TNA pay-per-view with this people in charge. I'm, I'm going to continue to never watch Impact. Go ahead, do another Destination X. Put Joe Daniels AJ as the three-way main event. Make Robert Roode the champion the next month. I don't care. I still hate you guys. You took my interest and you fucked me over. So now I say fuck you. These people. These people deserve your support. These people. These people. These people. These people. These people. These people deserve your support. Not this goddamn company. Not that other company, which has produced one of its worst roles in history. Wrestling really sucks right now. This is probably the lowest point in wrestling history right now. Coming off the worst role of all time. Not why well, I didn't think it was, but many did. And the biggest letdown in TNA history. Alright, goodbye. I'm done. I'm done.